Hello guys, welcome back to Mufa Suket with SolidWorks basic tutorial how to use a whole wizard tool to create a whole with a profile. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can click here and click OK. Next, active a notification checklist and save to get our new tutorials. Okay, we start now. Open your SolidWorks software, and first I will create a simple 3D object. You can click a sketch tab here, and click sketch. I will choose a top plane, and we create a rectangle object. Start from this point to this point. Extrude this rectangle object to this point. Click OK to finish. To use a whole wizard tools, you can click here. This icon, whole wizard. And you can see in here whole specification. First of all, whole types. I will use uh, this type, for example, counter sinks, and use a standard and symmetric. Okay, you can use another metric. I will use uh, this uh, and symmetric. And for size, I will use uh, M8 uh, size. Okay, after we edit uh, this uh, whole specification. You can click position tab here and put uh, your hole. I will put in here in this face. And you also can give a smart dimension, give a distance from uh, this point to this point. In here, for example, uh, 30. Okay, and start from uh, this point to this point. In here, like uh, 45 and enter. Okay. Now you can click OK and click OK again to apply hole in this uh, object. Okay, we create uh, this uh, object. Okay, to use a hole wizard, you can click here, hole wizard, and then click hole uh, types. So I will click here, and we use uh, standard edge metric, or you can use uh, another metric like inch. Okay, and for uh, size, I will use uh, this uh, M14. And click a position, and we put a hole in here. Okay, next uh, I will give a uh, distance from uh, this point 30, and start from this point to this point in here 70. Click OK to finish. Okay, you can click OK and click OK to apply hole in the object. Okay. I think it's enough today for SolidWorks basic tutorial how to use a whole wizard tool to create a whole with a profile. If you have any question about this uh, tutorial, you can comment below this video. And see you next time in another SolidWorks basic tutorial.